All right, guys, we got some problems this week against the Lions. We got a lot of injuries on the injury report, and it's not looking good. We got literally a third of the roster on the injury report, so let's get right into it. The players on the did not participate list was Anthony Bradford with a knee injury. He has not been good to start off this season, so hey, we're going to see what happens. Phil Haynes should probably fill his spot and the coaching staff hasn't seemed too thrilled to play him that much so it's not looking like a good sign for us next we got jerome baker with the hamstring injury then boye mafe with the knee injury byron murphy with a hamstring injury and he's going to be out for a few weeks so that's not good news and with leonard williams being out with a ribs injury that's not good either hopefully he can somehow play on monday but as of right now Things are not looking good. On top of that, we got Uchenna Nwusu out with a knee injury in the did not participate list. And that's not good because he was supposed to play this week against the Lions. And there might be another setback. Again, it's not looking good for the Seahawks. But the limited participation list, we had Noah Fent with a toe injury. He's probably going to be on this list for the whole season. Kenneth Walker with an oblique injury. He's probably going to play against the Lions. And that's good news. Next, we had Lankin Thomason with the ankle injury. Farrell Brown with a foot injury, Derek Hall with a hip injury, and Jonathan Hankins with a calf injury. I'm expecting all of these players from the limited participation and the full participation to be playing on Monday against the Lions. The players that we had in the full participation was Tyler Lockett with a thigh injury, Jake Bobo with a knee injury. Haven't seen too much of him this season, but I would like to see much more of him. DK Metcalf with a hand injury. Brady Russell with a shoulder injury, Kenny McIntosh with a hand injury, Tyrell Dodson with a shoulder injury, and Kevon Wallace with a shoulder injury. My biggest concern this week against the Lions is that we have four of the defensive linemen injured. That is literally the worst possible news we could have on this injury report because if both Leonard Williams and Byron Murphy are out, on top of that with Boye Mafe, this is going to be a tough game to win against the Lions. Don't get me wrong, they got some problems of their own, but this basically just cancels it out. Because the players to keep your eye on for the Lions was Sam Laporta in the did not participate list. Frank Ragnall was also in the did not participate list. And in the limited participation, we have Brian Branch with the concussion injury. I'm assuming he's not going to play because of the injury, a concussion that's pretty serious. If he plays, I mean, he's probably going to be playing semi-concussed. So I was feeling pretty good about this game until I looked at this injury report and now I definitely have some concerns. But hey, we started this year 3-0. Mike McDonald and Geno Smith are doing phenomenal things. We're started 4-0. I'm saying it. We're going to fight through all of these injuries and on prime time, pull off the fucking impossible. This is a winnable game. We have not lost to the Lions since literally 2012. But at the end of the day, I definitely expect this game to be a close game. It's going to be a great game to watch. Uh, it might even come to overtime again. But my final score is going to be 30-23 Seahawks. We're going to move to 4-0 on the season. As long as we play with Geno playing no turnovers and playing the way he's been playing to start off this season, we should win this game. The key to win this game is through the offense because we got a ton of injuries on the defense. But thank you guys for watching to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. Please let me know your thoughts on who is going to win this game in the comments below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Seahawks and Lakers videos like this. And turn post notifications on. And I hope you have a great rest of the day or night. And I'm out, man. Peace.